Hey everybody, this is Alex from Arcaeus Creative and today I wanted to talk to you guys about LUTs. In particular, when you're working in Adobe Premiere, how do you find these LUTs and how you can actually import them in so that way you don't have to keep browsing over and over. Now there are two ways we can go about this. You can either browse and select LUTs individually or we can actually go deep into some of the folders within our OS and add them so that we can find them in Premiere again and again through multiple projects. If we're working through a project and we just want to browse for a single LUT, in Premiere, it's a fairly simple process. First, we'll go ahead and open the Lumetri color panel and head into the Creative tab. In the Look drop-down tab, we can see that it will give us a few different options. We can disregard the None option, since we actually want to be adding a LUT, and the Custom option, since we're going to be using a pre-made LUT preset, and click the Browse option. Once we do that, a new window will pop up, just like every other import window that Premiere has, and we can search for one of our pre-made LUTs. I've got mine here in the Downloads folder, but you can navigate to wherever you saved your LUTs, whether it's in you know, a custom folder or Downloads desktop, anywhere you really want. But once we find the one that we want, we can simply double-click it, and then the LUT has been selected and applied to the clip through Lumetri. Now while this step definitely is quick, just know that unless you know the particular LUT and the look you're going for, uh, you won't have the option to preview it before you actually attach it. Now if we didn't want to browse every time we add a LUT, or we wanted to be able to preview all of our fancy LUTs, we can actually go through the folder tree and paste the LUTs so that they'll be integrated within the Lumetri panel. So instead of opening Premiere, first we'll actually start by opening the Finder. Now first things first is that we want to copy the LUTs from wherever they are saved currently so that we can paste them to wherever we need them to be. Uh, in this step we want to actually be copying the .cube files because that's what Adobe really likes. Uh, those are the actual LUT files. Now we'll navigate through the Finder and through the hard drive into the Applications folder. When we find Premiere Pro CC 2017, or whichever edition you're using, and this is where we're going to do some light hacking. We'll right-click on Premiere Pro and go into Show Package Contents. That opens up a new section where we can go into Lumetri, and then LUTs, then Creative, and we can paste our .cube files there. Once everything's been pasted, we can relaunch Adobe Premiere, and now in our Creative tab, when we go to the drop-down Look menu, all of our new fancy LUTs will be there for preview and to select. Now for PC it is slightly different in that we don't have to do the whole show contents file step, but the file tree, names and all should be the exact same, so you can follow the same exact steps and you should be good to go. For me, I highly suggest adding your LUTs because I'm a huge fan of the preview aspect of the Lumetri panel, and being a colorist I've ended up with tons of different LUTs from all over the place, and having to remember a lot of the names and the exact looks that they give you uh, it can get to be a little bit overwhelming at times. Uh, now, for this, you don't have to add in all of your LUTs. You can always pick and choose, so if you know you use five or ten of the same ones every time, you can go ahead and add those ones and browse the rest of them. But whatever works best with your workflow is up to you, and now you really have two different options to choose from, and you can kind of mix and match wherever you want. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Thanks for watching, and keep on grading.